Welcome to Grace for All, a daily devotional podcast produced by First United Methodist Church, Maryville, Tennessee. John chapter 8, verse 12. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. It is summertime, and there is plenty of light. I enjoy my wildflower gardens that thrive in that light. I find there are a place where I can pause, reflect, and enjoy God's creation right in front of me. It has been cited that a walk in the garden can bring down your blood pressure. I know I certainly feel better after a few moments there. The Pharisees were in the crowd as Jesus taught, and it is likely that they were having a spike in their blood pressure. It was their business to know the scriptures, and it is very likely that Psalms 27 verse 1 may have flashed through their minds. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Or maybe the Pharisees were thinking, The unfolding of your words gives light. Psalm 119, verse 130. Either way, they surely looked around them and saw the definite influence that Jesus was having on the crowd and certainly felt the threat to their vaunted standing in society. Our challenge comes in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Are you teaching Sunday school? Excellent. Are you helping to feed the hungry or shelter the homeless? Terrific. Looking out for your fellow brother, sister, stranger, to lend a hand or share a gesture of kindness? Well done. As in, well done, good and faithful servant. Welcome. Yes, to hear those words in the kingdom of heaven. Light references truth and eternal life. In John chapter 12, verse 45, Jesus cried out, And whoever sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world, so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in the darkness. I do not judge anyone who hears my words and does not keep them. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. The chapter ends with verse 50. And now, that commandment from him is eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. How much clearer can the message be? Jesus' light is radiating before us. Let us pray. Send us, Jesus, into the crowd of daily life, that our actions, our words, our behaviors would glorify your name and spread your light in this contentious world. Amen. Written and recorded by Sam Barton. In 1740, John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement, preached a sermon in Bristol, England, in which he proclaimed, The grace or love of God, whence cometh our salvation, is free in all and free for all. 283 years later, we're humbled to proclaim that message through this Grace for All podcast. Thank you for listening to today's message of grace. I'm Jonathan Jonas, Senior Pastor of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee, where the Grace for All podcast is written, edited, and produced by our lay members. To know more about our congregation and its ministries, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G.